Okay, guys. Today we have Zen Ball. Um, I've done this pattern before as in one of my beginner lessons. So um, if you want to see how I did it before in the beginner lessons, just go to, uh, to my playlist uh, up here, wherever it is that you find playlist and go to uh, beginner lessons and Zen Ball is in one of them because this is a really easy tangle. Everybody can do this one. Okay, step number one, and this is by Ina Sonomoser, our lovely intrepid uh, fearless leader, right? So, step number one is a circle. Step number two is a crescent in that circle. Step number three is to continue that crescent all the way around. And I like to do it like this with five, but you can do it with more or less. Doesn't matter. And then step number four, you'll aura two of the little arms and fill it in. Okay? So that it looks like this. You could fill it in the whole thing. You could fill in the arches. If you made the circle big enough, you could uh, embellish some other way. Here is her example, like that. Um, let's see if I can figure out how to do something different with it than what I've done before, which is always a challenge. I, I personally like the challenge of trying to figure out how to do something different. So I'm gonna draw string number 24. I already started with the one line there. String number 24, which has one going this way, and one coming down this way, and one going up and around like that, and one coming in and around like this. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. I'm just thinking, thinking out loud here, that maybe, maybe I want to make these four circles, four big ones, and then fill in around behind with smaller ones. I think I'm, that's where I want to head with this. So I'm just going to do one really big one right here. Okay. Let me zoom in a little. So do it like a circle and then do arches. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? Simple. And then on two of them, do like that and fill in. That's it. You guys can do this. I know you can. Let's try this again. One. Now see that one I did six because it was big and that's what I ended up with instead of five. And that's okay. And I'm going to do this one and that one. I'm gonna make them smaller and do even more on this one, I think. There we go. See? They don't have to be five. Fill that in. And one more really big one right here. And I'm going to make nice big arches. And those weren't even. 
Not even even. But that's okay. They don't have to be even. Just showing you that however you draw it is how it's meant to be. And I'm thinking that maybe, maybe on this one, I'm going to do an aura. Kind of make a sand swirly kind of shape about it. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's what I like, but it's what I did. So that's what I'm going to do. Because it's what I did. So on this one, you're probably, you're really going to recognize the string because I'm doing this sort of swirly thing. This is not what I had in my head when I first thought about it. I thought I was going to take littler ones and fill in, but that doesn't seem to be what it wants to do. It wants to be swirly like this. some small ones in that part but this part wants to be swirly it's what it wants to do okay yeah that's what it wants to do Maybe I will have some littler Zen balls out here. That's kind of small. Okay, you want them a little bit bigger than that so you have room to put your circles inside. That would be a better size, I think. Something like that, perhaps. It needs one more here. Okay. Now what does it need? It needs... It needs... It's 
something like that. What else does it need? Some in here, I think. one sticking out there. Like that. Okay, so far so good. I like that. And then I think I'm going to, do I have, you know, I keep forgetting to bring my brush pen over here. I'm going to use this and I'm going to fill in I feel like this tile needs a black background. like that. And it's okay, and I think it actually looks more intriguing if your design sticks out from the frame. Like this, see? I think it looks more interesting. Gives it Gives it another bit of dimension and interest. Like that, I need some black. My son installed a um, dash cam unit in his vehicle this weekend. It's pretty cool, actually. Don't know the name of it, so don't ask me. It's his his thing. But he bought it. It's It's got a forward-facing and a rear-facing camera system, and it's constantly recording while you're moving. And... If he has a like a G G force sensor or something he said so that if you get in an accident it locks the file um, so that it doesn't get overwritten and uh, you can manually push the button if you know like you see some uh, 
dangerous thing on the road and you want to preserve that file and give it to the police, you can, you can do that. Um, the rear facing one acts as a backup camera, which is really helpful. Um, he has a hard time seeing backing up in his vehicle because of just the way it's the shape of it and stuff. There's a lot of blind spots. Um, so that's really helpful. It's got a motion sensor in it, so if somebody tries to vandalize your car or if your car is hit like in a parking lot, um, it will start recording. So hopefully you could catch whoever did that. Um, yeah, it's really quite interesting. He did it because um, he's been in several near-miss accidents on his commute to work. And even though it's not going to prevent the actual accident, which I, as a mom, I wish we could just prevent the whole accident altogether. Um, but, you know, it's not going to prevent the accident. However, if he does get in an accident, um, he will have some proof as to exactly what occurred on the accident. Because he's a really good driver. The one that, that scared him um, last week was he was about to turn into the parking lot at work. He gets to work really early in the morning, um, about 6 a.m. And uh, car, he was in the left lane making his <clears throat> indication that he was going to turn left and a car passed him on the left on the wrong side of the road with going at a super high rate of speed. He, he estimated, because right there the, the speed limit is like 35 or 40, and he estimated this car was going 80 to 100 miles an hour. It was, just, it was flying past him, and it had no headlights on, and it almost hit him, and that would have been just a horrendous accident and that scared him so much that he decided that, you know, if, if he's going to die in an accident, he wants uh, somebody to prove what happened. Yeah. You know what? That turned out really, really cool. I like this. I like this string. I didn't think I was going to like this string when I first saw it. I thought, what in the world am I going to do with that? But look what kind of cool thing come out of it. Oh, I like it. I'm going to do, let's see. I'm going to get rid of, get rid of a couple of those string lines. I see them where I don't want them. Not very many. There's just a couple. Most of them will get incorporated into my design. Get my pencil, grab my pencil sharpener, and you can give this a little twist. There we go. And I'm going to do where it overlaps here first. Nice and big. That one overlaps all the other ones. And then I'm going to do some in here on those lines, um, maybe here, maybe along this line, and that one. I'm just thinking about where I might see a darker spot. Usually it's where the, the lines kind of converge. If it's like in a spiral, it's where it's converging. That, that would be a logical place for a shadow, some shading. Put some here on that line. And I think I'm going to put actually some right here Right along this edge. 
It's already got that look because of that dark spot, but I'm gonna em emphasize that by putting a little extra shading there. But I think I'm only gonna do it in the big ones. It's the little ones are too little for to really notice. I could smudge some in there, but I think that wouldn't be purposeful. So I'm gonna do it like that. Okay, so now I just need to smudge this and then we will be done, right? Here we go. I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna stick a little bit smudge inside some of these bigger ones, I mean these little ones. Because I do like that look, but I don't want it super dark. So I'm just gonna take whatever's left over on my blending stump and just add a little tiny bit to that. There we go. You might not even be able to tell on the camera, but I can tell. Okay, so how do I want this to live? I think I want it to live that way. Okay. Not sure I've got. Here we go. Zen ball, string number 24. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was easy. Very, very easy. Circles, simple. You can do circles, circles and arches. That's all it is. Circles, arches, a little bit of graphite. Super duper easy. I want to see what you guys can come up with. I like, I really, really like seeing the, the stuff on the, in the group. I'm telling you, join, join the group. Down in the description below is all the information about where I get the um, daily patterns, uh, which uh, Facebook groups are, are part of this. Um, it's all in the description below. So if you have any questions, that's where it is. And um, you guys have a blessed day. Go out and be a blessing to somebody else. Do something nice for someone. Make the world a better place. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.